Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on Visual SFM and 3D Reconstruction of Objects. My name is Kyle Yunkin. I will be guiding you through this demonstration. I am doing this for the Iowa State Institute for Transportation. So, right here I have the Visual SFM open right now. First I'll show you how to download that. I would uh, direct you to some websites that you uh, might find helpful. One of them would be uh, Visual SFM by Chan Cheng Wu. He will have a demonstration on how to uh, how to use this. Uh, if you want to install, just click that button and follow the procedure. You also need to install some files from. OSM Bundler. You can install them a few places. I just find this is most useful. You can find this just just Google OSM Bundler, and this will come up. Now, when you download this, when you download this, you'll get a file, OSM Bundler. What you'll do is you'll open up that, depending on your operating system. In this case, I'm using 64-bit. So you'll just go to these files, go to the software file, and you'll copy uh, copy these files into the folder that has this Visual SFM execute file. So you can see I already have it here. There's PMVS, CMVS bundler, and it's just that easy. So when you get started up, just click on, click on Visual SFM. So there's about four buttons you need to press for basic usage, so hang with me here. First button that you use is Open Multiple Images. I'll show you a small demonstration set that I already have. So I'll just select do shift select the pictures that you want. Since these aren't very many pictures, it doesn't take too long to load. Depending on how many pictures you load, if you load 100, 150, it could take a minute or two. There is no upper limit to how many pictures you can put up here. So here I have some pictures from the Memorial Union here at Iowa State. This is the zodiac on the floor. So first step is just to visually inspect some of these pictures, make sure that they're not too fuzzy, that they have everything that we want in here. So this this looks fine. Now the next button you need to press is this one right here, Compute Missing Matches. So I'll just hit that. You have this nice little log window that shows you what's going on. Now the first step is it's sifting. Sift stands for standard invariant feature matching feature transform and uh, this go this is going pretty fast because it's uh, not very many pictures so see it only took 31 seconds and you can see each picture is being matched with another picture I'll show you you can if you want to look at that hit the this shows the features so you can see these each of these lines, any uh, any feature that is unique, will be uh, will be brought out. If we want to look at how those compare, so these these features are being matched between pictures. So it will, the software will recognize that the scale right here is the same as the scale right here. Now, second step that I'll do is I will press this button, which once it has all of these key points that are extracted, I'll do Compute 3D Reconstruction, and uh, this is the structure for motion part of the algorithm. We will simultaneously be matching the camera positions and the points. So there's this is all automated. You don't need to 
select manually the, the key points between pictures. You can see you can see the cameras here. There's a camera. There's a camera here. There's a camera there. These are the the points that are being made. Well, it's flat at least. That so looks like looks like this will probably be pretty good. This will only take a few minutes. So it calculates the focal length, or estimates the focal length. This will tell you how many points are being created and the amount of time that it takes. If you find that there is a camera that is obviously not right, you can select it by right-clicking on the picture and hitting the delete button. I'm not going to do that because these all look fine. So this, these are not very many points. This is probably about a thousand right here, or maybe less. So at this point, we will do the bundle adjustment. Doesn't take very long. And then we do CMBS, which is a dense reconstruction. We'll ask prompt you to save this. I'll just do dense. This will take a minute. In the meantime, I will show you another software.